guys, how are you? Welcome back to Brunch, I'm Scotty Withers. We're live in West Hollywood. Lori Petty rocks. Oh my gosh, I love her for a lot of reasons, but I have someone else really cool that I love also. I've got a huge crush on. He doesn't know, I don't tell him. Antonio, how are you? Pretty good, how about yourself? Good for, I got you some water, it's good to see you. Have a seat, nice Antonio Rufino. I was on your website last night and I was like going through and it was, it was very exciting because you have cool. some really nice pictures on there. Thank you. Has anyone told you that you're like really attractive? No, never. Never? No. No. Well, oh, they should have. <clears throat> but, well, to give you, in case you have okay. never, you've got to recognize him because he does a lot. Not only acting, but producing and I'm sure some modeling in there as well. Most people would recognize you from Port Arthur. <laughs> Actually, poor Charles. Poor Charles. I don't watch soaps. My grandma watches the stories. She calls them the stories. Yeah. Poor Charles. Yes, sir. Um, what, what's your role on that? Well, actually, I did a couple. Um, I had a recurring role. Um, I played a, a variety of different characters. One of them was a car racer, mm -hmm. and I was a foreign college student. I can see that. And that works. <laughs> yeah. I, I, with the leather coat face. and everything, it works. <laughs> and yeah, I just went on and did some other stuff now. You know, I've done a couple of, uh, You did Caroline in the City, too. Correct, yes. I, I love that show. Vito the bartender. Do they stereotype you in that? Well, I guess so, if you want to say. I was going to say. <laughs> okay, and you've also been in one of my favorite shows. Uh, which is? CSI Miami. Yeah, that was a twisted character. What did you play in CSI? I don't remember that. I, didn't, I haven't seen every episode, obviously. Um, it was a trans... How would you say Trans it? Was it transsexual? Did you play a transsexual role? Right, yeah, it was You were a transsexual? Twisted. It was edgy. Really? This is used the word edgy. Wait a minute, were you... I think I did see that episode. Were you one of the killers? Um, no, I get killed. You get killed. <laughs> yeah. Okay, how was that? Well, you've played several gay or gender-issued characters. Yes, Do you, are you ever afraid of being stereotyped as the guy that plays the gay role? No, actually... Um, the way I look at it as an artist, I have to be an open-minded book and not be, not fall into the stereotype or, or, or kind of like say, for example, uh, pursuing acting, right? If mm -hmm. I want to get open doors for myself in my career, I have to be able to embody other characters Absolutely. without having that in mind that I may get stereotyped. Well, how do you do the research? I mean, do you go to West Hollywood and hang out at the Abbey or do you go to one of the, uh, to one of the gay gyms or how do, I mean, or do you have friends that you rely on and, and a variety them? of different things. A variety of different things from doing the research through friends, um, going to different public places like you mentioned, mm -hmm. which I did that in my film, or that it's Jesus. Yeah, we want to talk about that too. <laughs> That's very cool. Um, but you're from Houston. Yes, sir. Born and raised in and Houston, Texas. And your family's still there? My family's still there. Um, I'm very fortunate that I get to go back once a year. Yeah, Houston's a nice town. It gets it a little is. steamy. Very hot. Very is everybody hot. okay? Your family okay from the... the the Katrina and the Rita and yes. the hurricane issues. Thank God, yes, absolutely. Oh, good, good, because it was, you know, it was scary there for a moment, for a few days with Houston after what happened absolutely. in New Orleans. Very devastating. Oh, good, good, good. Well, let's talk about the movie. Well, you've got a couple movies. Yes. But let's talk about, and you're going to have to help me with the title, El Derecho de Jesus. You got it. Now, hey, pronunciation I, was good. Thank you. I, my high school Spanish comes in handy. Okay. Now, does, what does El Derecho mean? Because I don't understand. I, I was trying, is it like the boss of Jesus? El Derecho would be the right. The right of Jesus. The right of Jesus. Of, of Jesus. Jesus yeah. What does that mean? Well, how does that play in?